Hi there. Welcome again in the session of SSIS step by step course. We have already covered SSIS introductory videos. What is ETL data integration? We have already covered the setup and installation and what is IDE and what features IDE have. Now in this video, we are going to create a fresh new project, which is an integration project. So let's get started. So right now, this is my ID, which is called integrated development environment. And here's an option called new project. You can click here. You can also go in file section and click new and also create a new project. Or you can go with the control shift and N option here as a keyboard shortcut. Let me go here and let me click on new project. Here you will see three options, analysis services, integration services, and reporting services. Since this is a, the integration project, I'll click on integration services. There are two options, wizard and project. Wizard is something which you need to create import and export. It will not provide you much functionality to alter the data. However, if you want a quick download and upload, you can do that. But in this video, we are going to select service project, which is integration services project. I click on this one. You can rename it. So let me name it at my integration project and click on OK. Once you click on OK, it will take some time, few seconds to load your project and it will make the canvas ready for you. So now it is taking some time and here our first project has been created successfully. So here you can see my integration project has been listed here. You have option called project params. These are the parameters which has been used in the project. We don't have any right now. These are the connection managers. For example, the ETL will read the data from the source and load it into destinations. So all the source and destination objects require connections before they can be used in the ETL package or the SSIS package. That's why we need connection managers. So all the connection manager which you create in this package will be listed in this folder. All the SSIS packages which you will create in under SSIS which will be listed down under SSIS packages. Miscellaneous is for files and all the notes you keep while you're developing your package so that you can refer to it afterwards. All right, so this is all about the project and what you can get along with your projects. Let's cancel this one. We have already discussed that. This is the property window in case if you have any object on the canvas, you can select their property and change their properties. Right now we don't have any. So this is called Solution Explorer where you will get the detail for your solutions, which is your project. This is called the design pane. You can see here the design is there. This is called the SSIS toolbox. So SSIS is basically used to perform ETL operations, extract, transformation and loading. So there are four main concepts in ETL. The first is called control flow. So control flow is basically used to design the control of your application. Step one, step two and step three. These are the controls in which you want to execute your package. So all these steps will be executed in the control flow, which holds the control of your application. Data flow. Data flow is a task in the control flow where you will define the metadata of your step. If you want to perform a step one, what all the sub steps you need to perform is explained in the data flow. Parameters. Parameters hold all the input and output parameters and configuration parameters as well for your application. Event handlers, these are basically used when you want to trigger an event if there is any application or there's any time on time on error or whatever you want to initiate this. These are options avail available where you can execute the event and also where you can perform SSIS integration and also capture the request or the data which you want for your application. And last is the package explorer. In this package explorer, this will give you a tree wise view of your entire package that which data source is connected with which, which destination and you can get a log recorded here. So let's see one by one what is control flow. Inside the control flow, you have these toolbox available. You have favorites under which you have two options which data flow task and execute SQL task. Data flow task is nothing but the same data flow which we are discussing here, which is used to build and modify data flow data. Now, the common tasks are here, 
which is like FT, file transfer task, expression task, bulk task. These are all individual tasks which have an option of drag and drop. You can just drag it and drop it onto the campus here on the canvas here. And once you have dropped it here in the canvas, in the design pane, you can double click it and you can directly go to the data flow. Here you can see it. You can also rename it, go back to control flow. You can click here, go to rename. You can rename it my source package or instead of source package, you can say it like my source file. If you click double click on here, it will take you directly to the data flow task and you can see like source file has been already selected here. In the package explorer, if you see in the executables, you have already source file mentioned here as well. So this is a tree view of your package as well. Now let's go back there. And these are the containers. If you want to execute your program in a loop, you have other tasks as well, which already listed here. These all individual tasks have their own requirements and this, this can be used in multiple scenarios. So it depends which scenario you have and you can explore it and use it accordingly. Moving to the data flow. If you double click it, you will go back to the data flow here. And in a data flow task, this is where you, you will perform your ETL, which is extract, transform and load. Here you can see these are the data where you can these these are the common attributes and the toolbox where you can transform the data for example conditional split data conversion derived column these are the other transformation associated with it and these are the other sources so you can see like source and transformation and then you have destinations so you will read a data from a source transform your data and then you can load it into the destinations so this is called then etl operations extract transformation and load these are two main tab which is control flow and data flow which is a very important item and the attributes of an SSIS package apart from that parameters is used for input and output procedures for sending a data information across packages and across variables so that's it for this video this is a quick view on control flow and data flow and from our next video we'll start to discuss what is source destination and a use case which we where we will design our first SSIS package and I'll show you how we can do that. So that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care. Goodbye.